When it comes to AI website builders in 2025, two names keep coming up, Base44 and Lovable. At first glance, they look almost identical. Both can generate apps and websites from a single prompt, no coding required. But the truth is, these tools are built for very different purposes. Today, we're going to compare them head to head, show you where each one fits, and why choosing the wrong option could mean hitting a wall and rebuilding everything later. If you want to follow along as we test both tools, the links are right below for Base44 and Lovable. Open them now and try building alongside me so you can really see the difference for yourself. Base44 is built for people who aren't just experimenting. They're serious about building apps that can scale beyond the prototype. Most AI builders stop at generating a polished user interface. Base44 goes further by giving you the full stack. Backend logic, databases, APIs, authentication, analytics, hosting, and even debugging tools. Here's what that looks like in practice. I'll type in this prompt. Create a customer portal app with user login and sign up, a connected database for storing customer details, and an API that retrieves the data. Include a debugging tool and test environment. Watch how Base44 works. It won't just create the screens, it will generate the database schema, build the authentication system, wire up the AI, and drop everything into a test environment. That's work that normally takes hours or setup across multiple tools like Superbase, Swagger, or Postman. But here, it's done in minutes. Scalability is another area where Base44 stands out. Most no-code platforms are fine until you hit real users. Then they start to creak under pressure. Here, with Base44, you can literally just prompt, add built-in analytics to track user activity and enable security features such as authentication and access control. And the system equips your app with dashboards, usage metrics, and access rules. See, you don't have to bolt on third-party analytics or security layers because you can get a solution designed to scale from day one. And when it comes to developer productivity, Base44 reduces repetitive grunt work. For example, rather than manually writing backend code to handle updates and deletions, you can simply ask, generate endpoints for updating and deleting customer data automatically, and it builds them instantly. That frees you up to focus on the actual business logic and the user experience instead of boilerplate code. The key point here is that Base44 is not just a design-first platform. It's an all-in-one workflow where the database, the API, the authentication system, the test environment, and the analytics are built together as one ecosystem. You don't have to juggle multiple services, debug messy integrations, or worry about whether things will break once you add users. In practice, Base44 functions like a full-stack development partner who's giving you production-ready apps not just polished demos. But let's be real, not every tool works the same way. Lovable, on the other hand, plays a whole different game. Lovable is undeniably fast and visually polished. If all you need is a sleek interface for a demo, it delivers. For example, here let's try to use this prompt. Uh, build me a gym class booking app with a styled front end and mobile ready design. It created a clean, responsive UI in minutes. That kind of speed is perfect for showing investors or mocking up an idea you want to pitch. But the cracks start to show the moment you push beyond surface-level prototypes. Lovable is almost entirely front-end. As soon as you need authentication, data storage, or real workflows, it struggles. I'll show you exactly what I'm saying. Let's ask Lovable to add authentication with user login and sign up connected to a database and generate an API for bookings. Instead of handling it natively, Lovable offloaded the backend word to Superbase. That means you need to juggle multiple services, integrate them manually, and troubleshoot connections. For a non-technical founder, that's a recipe for frustration. Scalability is another big issue. Apps built with Lovable tend to work fine at a demo stage, but once you introduce larger datasets, multiple workflows, or real user traffic, they become brittle. And things break, performance drops, and you're forced to rebuild in another tool if you want to go live. And then there's cost. Lovable's credit-based model ramps up quickly. Iterating on a project, which is exactly what most early-stage teams do, 
eats two credits fast, and the bill climbs with each round of changes. Add in the cost of external services like Superbase, and Lovable becomes an expensive way to build something you can't even scale. So while Lovable is excellent for quick, investor-friendly mockups, it's not a sustainable platform for production apps. It's like a sketchpad for ideas. Fast, slick, and good-looking, but not something you can rely on once your project grows. The real test of any builder is what happens when you sit down and actually try to build something useful. Base 44's strength shows up right away in projects that need more than a pretty face. Say I want to make a trading journal for myself or for a small dev team. Let's give it the prompt. Uh, build a trading journal app where users can log trades store them in a database, and generate simple performance analytics charts. Like what I told you earlier, Base44 will wire up the database, create the input forms, and will even give me charts I can use to track performance. That's something I can log into every day, add data, and trust that it won't fall apart as it grows. For a team building internal tools, dashboards, or even early versions of SaaS products, this is a game changer because you're not wasting weeks setting up authentication, hosting, or APIs. It's already there. You get to focus on the actual business logic and user experience instead of battling with backend setup. Now, Lovable shines in a totally different way. If I'm a designer and I need to show a travel app interface for a pitch, I could just prompt, build me a travel itinerary app with a styled front end, calendar view, and simple booking form. Lovable nails it. The UI looks polished, it's mobile friendly, and I can drop it into an investor deck tomorrow. It's also fun for students or hobbyists who want to experiment and see their ideas come to life without worrying quickly about backend complexity. For those lightweight projects, this definitely feels smooth and satisfying. However, the problem shows up when I try to go further with Lovable. Let's say that the same travel app now needs login, user accounts, and real booking data. It won't work on its own. I have to bring in another service to handle the backend, and I might end up piecing together a patchwork system. For a side project, that might be fine, but if I'm serious about launching, it's frustrating. I basically have to rebuild on a stronger platform later. That's the key difference. With Base44, what I build today could keep growing tomorrow. I can start small, a trading journal, a customer portal, a basic CRM, and then layer on analytics, permissions, or security features without switching tools. With Lovable, what I build today is mainly for show. It's fast and pretty, but once I try to use it in the real world, I hit ceilings I can't break through. Pricing is another area where the difference between Base44 and Lovable becomes obvious. Base44 has a free plan that gives you daily credits, which is perfect if you just want to test the waters or build something small to get a feel for how it works. Once you're ready to scale, the paid plans start at about 20 bucks a month, and from there you get more credits, more integrations, and room to actually grow your project. For a startup or a solo builder, that's not just affordable, it's also predictable because everything you need is inside the same platform. You don't have to constantly jump between external services or pay for add-ons just to keep the app running. Now, Lovable looks similar at first, starting at about $25 a month for 100 credits. But here's the catch. Every time you iterate or generate a new version, you'll burn through credits. And when you're in the early stages of building, you're iterating constantly, tweaking designs, adding features, testing different flows. The credits disappear faster than you'd expect, and then you'll realize the cost isn't just $25. On top of that, because Lovable doesn't handle the backend, you often end up paying for extra services like Superbase just to fill in the gaps. So while Lovable feels cheap at the start, the real cost shows up once you try to do anything beyond the demo. If we're going to compare that with Base44, the value actually increases the more serious your project becomes, because it's built to handle backend, testing, and scaling out of the box. If you're planning to launch something real and not just show off a prototype, Base44 gives you far more long-term sustainability for your money. At the end of the day, the difference between Base44 and Lovable comes down to what you're really trying to build. 
Base44 is built for growth. Apps don't just stop at a pretty interface. They can evolve with advanced features like role-based authentication, reporting dashboards, and analytics tools. It handles larger datasets without breaking down, and it includes built-in security and analytics so your project stays stable as it scales. That makes it reliable not just for today's version of your app, but for what it needs to become six months from now. Lovable, on the other hand, is great when you only need a mockup. It's quick, it's polished, and it works fine for investor demos or side projects. But as soon as you need real backend logic, permissions, or the ability to handle heavy data, it hits a ceiling. Most teams that start on Lovable eventually end up migrating to another platform or rebuilding from scratch once they outgrow those limits. The key point is simple. Lovable is a shortcut. Base44 is a foundation. If all you want is speed and style for a quick demo, Lovable does the job. But if you're serious about launching and growing something that lasts, Base44 gives you the backend strength, scalability, and reliability to make it happen. So for anyone serious about building apps that actually last, Base44 isn't just the better choice, it's definitely the essential one. And that's it for this breakdown. Both links are below, so try them out for yourself. But if you want something that lasts, I suggest you start with Base44. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.